Hey everybody, welcome back. This is my 20th video. Nice. I think I'm up to three subscribers. I hope you're one of them. Okay. I don't know if you remember my last video, but I had trouble finding anything about Report Manager from Infor. And I think that's because a cure is the, um, basically it's their product. They have an OEM agreement for delivery. I don't know if it's theirs or Infor's or someone's, whatever. But either way, they're involved. And so we got this email from these guys saying it's installed. I'm like, great, that all looks good. So our downgrade of SQL seemed to work out fine. I want to take a look at what's different. So we just did it in test. And so I started hunting around to see if I could find it. And I did find Report Manager. Now, I have not done anything at all yet. So right now, I'm going to double click on Report Manager. And I'm going to take a look at it. been running trying to access it now for there we go that works so something popped up report manager um, we do have ad hoc reporting we have favorites archive about I don't see anything here though reports user so it looks like just one report was set up so I'm guessing we need to my understanding is there's supposed to be some canned reports or something that are supposed to go in this I don't know I went online to see if I can find anything under a cure and I actually found a series of YouTube videos three of them they're about five years old about report manager basically configuring it what it's all about but if you search for a cure report manager on YouTube you'll find like three videos and feel free to take a look at them. They're short, four or five minutes long each. So now we have this exit document that they gave us. And so when I, let's take a look at that. Basically, that SES 501 report that we're looking at, it looks like they've configured that. And so it just talks about that. They configured it in the H5 client as well as Smart Office. Um, after looking at those videos, I kind of understand basically how it's working. There's a new service ID, MRM port stream, and it's creating another instance of the report that's formatted into Excel. And again, take a look at those links if you want to get an idea of what those look like. So what I really want to do is run APS 580, but I don't think I'm going to be able to do that today because my first initial look at everything, I don't see any reports or anything set up um, in test. My next step, I think, is I'm just going to send an email off to them and say, hey, it looks like I only see one report. Do you, um, when are we going to get more reports? But so it looks like the program, the, the program itself has been installed but it doesn't look like there's any any data with it so that must be coming up next so once we we also have to get training going and a lot of other stuff to get this this working but once it's done I'll I'll uh, let you know but the the installation seemed to go smooth other than the downgrade of the SQL thing so stay tuned check back and you can follow me on my report manager journey